This lesson we're going to learn to solve equations, systems of equations by substitution. What that means is that we're going to solve one equation for one variable and then take the information we know about that variable and substitute it in for that variable in the other equation. I know that sounds a little complicated, but it's easier once you've actually walked through it. So let's start, actually we're going to start with the equation on the right. Since it just has a single y, it will be relatively easy to solve that one for y. All we need to do is get rid of the negative 4x on this side so that y is by itself. We do that by doing the opposite. So we add 4x over here, and we add 4x over here. So we get y equals 2 plus 4x. Now this really means y is the same thing as 2 plus 4x. As we get so used to seeing equals that we have a tendency to forget what it really means. It means that this and this are the same thing. Anywhere I use y, I can use 2 plus 4x and mean the same thing. So we're going to take that 2 plus 4x and put it in place of y over here. So on this side then, we're going to have 2x plus 3 times 2 plus 4x, which is the same thing as y equals 6. So then we'll have 2x equals 3 times 2 is 6. I'm sorry, 2x plus 2x plus 3 times 2 is 6 plus 3 times 4x which is 12x equals 6. We'll combine our like terms and subtract 6 from both sides. Combine these two that gives us 14x equals 0. If 14x is 0, then divide everything by 14. x is also 0. So now we have a numerical value for x that we can plug into the other equation in place of x up here. So then we'll rewrite this equation as negative 4 times 0 plus y equals 2 negative 4 times 0 is 0, so we just get y equals 2. So the point 0, comma 2 is a solution for both of these equations. We can check that by taking these two values, plugging them into each equation, and making sure it works. If we plug 0 in here, we get 2 times 0 plus 3 times 2 equals 6. And this obviously 2 times 0 goes away, and 3 times 2 is 6, so it works for that one. And for the other one, we get negative 4 times 0 plus 2 equals 2. This goes away, and 2 equals 2, so it obviously works over here as well.